I'm Ed, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot cores errors and enable cores from your Amazon API Gateway. For this demonstration, we'll be focusing on the no access control allow origin header present error. Let's get started. Cross origin resource sharing, known as cores, is a browser security feature that restricts cross origin HTTP requests initiated from scripts running on the browser. This works by adding new HTTP headers that lets the server describe which origins are permitted to read the information from a web browser. These headers specify which HTTP methods are permitted in the request, which headers are allowed to be used, and other relative configurations as required. If your server doesn't return the required headers as per core standards, or if the value for these headers are not accurate, then your HTTP request won't succeed. When I attempt to invoke my API through my application, you can see the error my application is returning. To investigate this further, I use the browser developer tools and navigate to the console tab to view the error messages returned in the response. Here we can see the no access control allow origin header present error. For detailed header information, check the network tab in the developer tools. Let's head over to our API Gateway console to enable cores on our API Gateway. After you sign in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the API Gateway console. Select the API that experienced cores issues. Locate the specific resource within your API Gateway where you want to enable cores. Check if the option method is configured for the resource. If the API isn't configured with the options method, then click on Enable Cores to configure core settings. In the Cores Configuration dialog, choose the required settings. For example, select the checkboxes for adding cores headers for gateway responses. Example, default 4xx and 5xx responses. When finished, click on Save. AWS API Gateway automatically adds an options method to the resource with the necessary cores headers. Verify and confirm the cores configuration by deploying the API Gateway to a stage. Finally, test the API from your browser to confirm whether the core's errors are resolved. You can use the developer tools in your browser to inspect the network request to make sure that the correct headers are present. Please note that if you are using the proxy integration with your HTTP method, you must send the required core's headers from the backend itself, apart from enabling the core settings. So now you know how to troubleshoot cores errors and enable cores from your API gateway. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.